Hello po, I am Kishni Bibandilio. For our today's performance task in Science 4, Quarter 3, Week 6, we are going to talk about sound. Let's see how sound travels as we go on to our activity. Later, I will show you how sound travels in different materials. But before that, allow me to tell you some details about sound. Sound is a type of energy made by vibration. Last time, we did an activity about vibration by pressing one end of the ruler to the edge of the table and holding it down firmly. We press the free end of the ruler and release it suddenly. We made sound through the ruler on top of the table. We noticed that when things make sound, it moves back and forth. This movement is called vibration. When any of the objects vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles. These particles bump into the particles close to them, which makes, vibrate, which makes them vibrate too, causing them to bump into more air particles. This movement is called sound waves. That keeps going until they run out of energy. Now, let's find out how sound travels in different materials by doing our activity. Guide questions. Did you hear a sound when you tap the table or chair with a stick? What happened to the sound when you tap the table or chair in different strengths? Answer. Yes, there is a sound. The sounds differ in loudness when I tap the wooden chair in different strengths. Were you able to produce sound underwater when you struck or hit two stones together? Answer, yes, a sound was produced. Were you able to hear the sound you produced underwater? Answer, yes, I heard the sound when I struck or hit two stones together underwater. Did the sound coming from the drum reach the person away from it? Answer, yes. The person away from the drum heard the sound when I struck the drum with drumsticks. What could you infer from this activity? I therefore conclude that sound could be produced and has the ability to travel through solid, liquid, and gases. Sound travels more quickly through solids than through liquids and gases. In most liquids, the particles are not attracted as strongly to each other as those in solid particles. In a gas such air, sound waves travel most slowly. The particles of gas are not attracted to each other as strongly as the particles in liquid. Thus, sound waves travel slowly.